हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज विद्या राय हैविंग रोल नंबर 2 एंड एन एस 0225 ऑफ बीएससी थर्ड सेमेस्टर गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट माय पीपीटी ऑन द टॉपिक हिस्टोपैथोलॉजिकल एनालिसिस ऑफ बायो सैंपल हियर आर द हाइलाइट्स ऑफ द टॉपिक दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस introduction histopathology is the study of the sign of the disease using the microscopic examination of a biopsy or surgical specimen that is processed and fixed into glass slides histopathology is a significant branch of biology that covers the investigation of the cell anatomy and tissues of organism of at a microscopic level by a histopathologist Furthermore, histopathology refers to the microscopic examination of tissue in order to study the manifestation of disease. Specifically, in clinical medicine, histopathology refers to the examination of a biopsy or surgical specimen by a pathologist. After the specimen has been processed and histological section have have been placed onto glass slides. In contrast, cytopathology examines free cell or tissue micro fragments. Next topic we have histopathological image. Histopathological images are very influential for the final decision procedure of effective therapeutics. These images are essential to investigate the status of a certain biological structure and to diagnose disease like cancer. Digital histopathology represents a significant evolution in modern medicine. It often uses medicine vision techniques as a basis. Nevertheless, because of the special properties of digital histopathology images and their processing tasks, specific processing approaches are usually needed in addition histopathology images can be acquired by using specialized cameras with a microscope wherein an automated computerized approach can be carried out to study various architecture and constituent of tissue under a microscope the biopsy specimen is embedded in wax and dyed with one or more stains staining procedures are used by pathologist for cellular components separation for structural in addition to component visualization of tissue for diagnosis in our next topic we are going to discuss the stages of the preparation process of the tissue slides it consists of five operation and each of them can affect the quality of the final image in this figure we can clearly see that there are five steps of preparing tissue slides step 1 fixation step 2 processing step 3 embedding step 4 sectioning step 5 staining so we are going to discuss all this topic by one by one so firstly fixation samples of biological tissue are fixed with chemical fixation there are many ways of fixation but the commonly applied way in the biomedical field is fixation with formaldehyde or butyl aldehyde solution to protect the cells this is the critical step in tissue preparation and aims to prevent tissue autolysis and putrefaction step 2 processing tissue processing is a crucial step and involves two main processes dehydration and clearing dehydration is used to ex extract water from the gross tissue and substitute it with with a certain concentration of alcohol which solidifies it The process helps incise superfine sections of the specimen. Clear, uh, clearing consists of removing the clearing uh, removing the 
dehydrator with the material that will be the solvent in both the embedding paraffin and the dehydrating agent. Step 3. Tissue embedding. Thus, in this process wherein tissues are carefully positioned in a medium such as wax, so when solidified, it will provide enough external support to allow very thin sectioning. This process is essential as the proper tissue orientation is necessary for precise microscopic evaluation. Step 4. Sectioning. This process is required to generate superfine slices of tissue samples sufficient such that the details of the microstructure characterization of the cells can be obviously noticed using microscopy method. After, the, after that, carry the uh, superfine slices of sample onto a clean glass slide. Step 4. Staining. The final step is preparing tissue for light microscopy is to stain it and mount it on the slide. Staining increases contrast to the tissue and also highlights some specific features which would, other, which would otherwise be practically invisible in the microscope. There are many types of stain but the most common type of stain a common type of staining for histology is HNE. Why is histopathology important? Histopathologists are doctors who work closely with other clinical specialties. They can read a diagnosis by examining a small piece of tissue from the skin, liver, kidney or other organ. This is called a biopsy. They examine the tissue carefully under a microscope looking for a chances in cells that might explain what is causing a patient illness. Around 20 million histopathology slides are examined in the UK each year. In our next topic, we are going to discuss cancer diagnosis. Histopathologists provide a diagnostic service for cancer. They handle, they handle the cells and tissue removed from suspicious lumps and bumps, identify the nature of the abnormality and if malignant, provide information to the clinician, and ab uh, clinician about the type of cancer. It's great and for some cancers, it's responsiveness to certain treatments. In what is the role of histopathologist? Now in this topic we are going to discuss the role of the histopathologist. So the role of histopathologists are as follows. Many histopathologists specialize in specific organs such as the liver or skin, dissecting, cutting up or trimming, tissue for viewing under the microscope on a daily basis. For large specimen such as sample of bowels or breast following surgery, these are, these, uh, these are uh, deselected to select the most appropriate areas to examine under microscope. Histopathologists write report on specimen, consult literature, past and current research findings and many also have teaching and research responsibilities. They will also attend multidisciplinary meetings so their findings can be discussed with other clinicians. Treatment, treatment are then planned in detail and, uh, and tailored to each individual patient. Histopathologist also work directly with patients, for example, they may carry out procedures such as fine needles, aspiration in head and neck or breast clinics. They increasingly have key, key responsibilities for cancer screening 
at the moment for breast, bowel, and cervical cancer with other programs expected in the near future. Histopathologist also examine cells in smear, aspirates, uh, or bodily cliffs cytopathology, for example, in urine or cervical smears. Other subspecialities include forensic patholo pathology, neuropathology, and pediatric pathology. The pathologist is the professional working in the field of pathology. The primary task of this professional is to study pathology images received from the examination. Their role also involves writing report on specimen, con consult literature, and, all, and many also have teaching and research responsibility. They also attend multidisciplinary meeting to discuss their finding and research with other clinician, clinicians. Histopathologists also work directly with patients while conducting various kind of procedure. Their work involves examining cell in smear, experience or fully fluids. Services involved in histopathology. A histopathology laboratory avails a number of services that involve examining the tissues and ultimately detect diseases. The complete range of services offered by laboratories include techniques like necropsy to sophisticated histological processing as well as expert evaluation by pathologists. These histopathology services are availed in order to know the cause and provide appropriate result. The other additional services offered are specialized histochemical stains for specific cellular components, plastic processing for producing thin section in support of reproductive pathology and neuropathology, plastic embedding for microtomy of hard tissue and devices and peripheral nerves, frozen, frozen tissue processing and sectioning. Is histopathology still the gold standard? Histopathology is still considered the gold standard procedure to assess for pathological changes across a broad range of disease. What are the list of available tests in histopathology? The the list of available tests in histopathology are routine diagnostic histopathology, histochemistry, immunohistochemistry. Lastly, I would like to end my PPT by saying histopathology is the study of disease cell and tissue using a microscope. Thank you.